He was attending a seminar on recent performance of the Bangladesh economy, jointly arranged by FBCCI and BIDS. Energy crisis is a smoldering issue for Bangladesh as the supply goes nowhere near the demand of its huge population. Therefore, Finance Minister Abul Mal Abdul Muhit has said that the country needs to import energy immediately. According to him, energy is the only obstacle for Bangladesh's development. The Finance Minister also conveyed his concern over the employment crisis in the country and asked for suggestions from the experts. We should have LNG import. LNG import. He urged the private sector to come forward and make more investments. He also raised his concern concerns over the market syndicate, which he sees as a reason for the price hike. Mohit also said that the current government is seeking to increase the private sector investment from 24 to 35% within the fiscal year. Mohammad Anisul Haq presided over the seminar where Commerce Minister Lieutenant Colonel Farooq Khan was also present. Abdullah Al Raihan, News and Images, Dhaka. Bangladesh's image in the international market is getting better day by day, which is inviting more foreign investment in the country. Commerce Minister Farooq Khan has said. Speaking at a seminar on recent performance of the Bangladesh economy, he also said that the government was setting up trade centers in the foreign missions in an attempt to strengthen business relations with the respective countries. Commerce Minister Farooq Khan has said that the current government is establishing trade centers to promote Bangladeshi trade with the sub-Saharan African countries. He also said that the Aum League came into power with a mandate to develop the country's economic condition. The Aum League, economic development, trade center, নতুন নতুন জায়গা আমাদের এক্সপোর্ট বৃদ্ধি করার জন্য ল্যাটিন আমেরিকা সাউথ আমেরিকাতে আমরা চেষ্টা করে যাচ্ছি সেখানে ট্রেড সেন্টার আমরা প্রতিষ্ঠা করেছি ফারুক খান অলসো অ্যালেজড দ্যাট দ্য অপজিশন পার্টিজ ওয়ার হ্যাম্পারিং দ্য ওভারঅল বিজনেস এনভায়রনমেন্ট অফ দ্য কান্ট্রি হুইচ হি সেড ওয়াজ অ্যান অবস্টাকল ফর ফরেন ইনভেস্টমেন্টস হি আর্ড দ্য অপজিশন টু হেল্প দ্য गवर्नमेंट ইজ টেকিং দ্য কান্ট্রি ফরওয়ার্ড বিরোধী দলকেও কিন্তু বাংলাদেশের মানুষ অর্থনৈতিক উন্নয়নে তাদের অবদান Dr. Moshu Rahman at the seminar on the other hand has said that it is necessary to monitor the international price shifts to find out the basis of the commodity price hike. He said that if the price is high in the international market, the government cannot be blamed for higher commodity prices in the country. <laughs> Experts and researchers from various organizations were also present at the seminar, who also gave their inputs on the country's economy. Abdullah Al Raihan, News and Images, Dhaka. Foreign Minister Deepu Moni has warned that country's 18% land in the coastal area of Bangladesh will go underwater if the water rises only one meter above sea level. She said that climate change poses a serious threat, not only for Bangladesh, but for the whole world, and should be taken seriously rather very soon. Bangladesh is beset by a myriad of natural disasters, tropical cyclones, tidal surges, tornadoes, drafts, and large-scale riverbank erosion damaging human residents and livelihood. Foreign Minister Dipuboni has opined that there should be some rules and regulations to overcome the havocs done by the disasters in Bangladesh. She also warned of the consequences of only one meter rise in the water level. <laughs> Speaking at the award giving ceremony, she said journalists have to face various challenges while respecting principles of professionalism even under great pressure or time constraints. She hopes that the journalist will still come up with constructive criticism of the government.
The High Commission of Canada and the Bangladesh Center for Development Journalism and Communication jointly organized the award giving ceremony. A total of six journalists from print and electronics media have received the award for their reports on the impact of climate change. Mamunur Rashid, News and Images, Dhaka. BNP Vice President Hafizuddin Ahmed has said that it is being impossible for BNP to participate in the by-election in Bola 3 constituency. He alleged that Awami League men were torturing BNP to keep it away from election. He also questioned the police silence on the matter, even after being informed, adding that a number of BNP offices have been burned down in the district. Upon Bangladesh Election Commission's request, Speaker Abdul Hamid has declared the Bola 3 constituency vacant on February 10 in the parliament. His announcement came as it was proved that the winning Awamili candidate Joshimuddin had concealed information on his form submitted to the Election Commission. Election Commission is now planning to hold by-election in mid-April in this constituency. BNP's Habizuddin, who was the second runner in the election and a contender in the upcoming by-election, claimed that it was being impossible for BNP to contest in the election. He alleged that Awamili men were torturing BNP leaders and workers. আওয়াম লীগের একটি ক্যাডার বাহিনী মোটরসাইকেলে চড়ে বিভিন্ন হাটে বাজারে বিএনপি সমর্থক বিএনপি কর্মী তাদেরকে লাঞ্ছিত করা শুরু করেছে এই সরকারের অধীনে কোনো ধরনের উপনির্বাচন কিংবা পুনর্নির্বাচন কোনো ধরনের গণতান্ত্রিক কর্মকাণ্ড করা সম্ভব হবে Talking about renaming of Jia International Airport, he said it was government's what he called revengeful and narrow-minded act. Talking at a press conference at his Bonani residence, Hafiz also said the government was insulting late President Jia Roman in various ways. Khalid Arafat, News and Images, Dhaka. The government is trying to revive and develop the country's dying jute industry. This industry-friendly government will provide all the best possible support and cooperation including technical and financial to bring back the glory of jute industry. Industries Minister Dilip Boru has made these comments while addressing a seminar organized by 